look, there is no more argument for going 700 by 28 or smaller on your road bike. None. No more argument. For me. Just for me. I don't want to get all the roadies angry. I am never going to be going smaller than 700 by 30 on my road bike. Normally, you can find me rocking a gravel tire on my road bike. It is a cyclocross bike that I use as my roadie. It used to have 700 by 34 gravel tires. It's my Canyon in-flight. The reason I typically use gravel tires is that I just love going off-road. There have been so many rides where I intend for it to be a pure road ride and the very last minute I include significant gravel sections. So that's why I usually have a gravel tire on it. But recently, I changed my tires to the Kenda Valkyrie Pro 700 by 30 Slicks. I got these tires from Dan's bike shop. Thanks, Dan, for sending them over. The reason for this is because I'm planning to join an upcoming Ironman relay. And also, a few weeks ago, I just finished a... Uh, really tough road climb <sighs> so the slicks are generally faster and lighter than the gravel tires on tarmac so they are more suited to this type of riding and the kendas have been great comfortable fast light i wish i had the tubeless version maybe next time but if these are good enough for phil gaiman these are good enough for me but i have to say that coming from 700 by 34 tires the thicker tires are definitely more comfortable, even compared to the 700 by 30. Four millimeters does not sound like a lot, but there is a big difference in comfort. Look, maybe if you live in a place with good roads, like I've cycled in Singapore and the roads there are sweet, you might even be able to get away with 700 by 23 there in Singapore. But here in Cebu, no, no and I suspect in most other places in the world as well. So I'm not sure that's very clear, but you can see here, this part of the road is like really rocky. It's like that type of road where it's cemented, but the cement has all chipped off and now it's all just big rocks stuck to the cement. And it's technically a road, but it is very bumpy on road tires. And that's going downhill and you can go down there pretty fast and all of a sudden you're in this little stretch where it's pretty bad road that would suck with small tires and I'm like the type that likes to explore so I don't want to just be going on the same roads over and over again just because I know there's pristine roads I want to go to places that I haven't gone before and on super slick tiny tires that doesn't sound very enjoyable. So in terms of comfort the bigger width tires are definitely more comfortable. Not only that it is easier to handle a bigger width tire. For new cyclists especially the bigger tires are just less daunting they corner better and at least you don't have to keep swerving around potholes so you can just roll over them you might be saying fine that might be the case but what if we were talking about pure speed the 700 by 28 tires are faster right i hate to break it to you but it turns out they are not faster so it's true one of the reasons why i got the kenda 700 by 30 tires is that it's definitely faster than my gravel tires. Normally my 700 by 34 gravel tires are plenty fast, but recently we've been going on a couple of road rides and it's been super fast. So I am looking at every advantage that I can get. So the prevailing wisdom was that thinner tires were faster. It turns out that's not necessarily true because they might be faster in a perfect road setting like a velodrome where where the road is super smooth and there are no bumps or anything but 
the thicker tires are definitely faster than the 700 by 28 tires when riding on normal road conditions. And I saw this in a recent video by NorCal Cyclist where he compared the speeds of different widths of tires. He compared the 700 by 28, 700 by 32, and 700 by 34 slicks. And the short of it is, it's a really good video, you should watch it, but the short of it is the 700 by 28 tires were the slowest. So I don't really see any reason to use 700 by 28 tires anymore. I mean, they're slower, they're less comfortable, and they're not as easy to handle as thicker tires. Unless, of course, your bike can't fit a 700 by 30 tire and you're maxing out at 700 by 28. Get a new bike. But don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself. You know, if you're used to 700 by 28, great. But, um might want to consider looking at thicker tires. I suspect that you'll even notice that the cyclists in the Tour de France will be using surprisingly thick tires. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. If you hate this video because you uh, swear by your 700 by 28, that is totally fine. Just let me know what size tire you prefer. I'd like to hear from the roadies, from the gravel cyclists. I'd like to hear from everybody. Maybe even if you're just a mountain bike rider. That's cool too. Okay. Uh, if you enjoy this video and you want to hear more from me, I publish a weekly newsletter called Villain Diary. It's basically stuff that has inspired me that week. And you can unsubscribe at any time. You can subscribe over here. All right. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.